Hi everyone, this is Amanda with Intigen, and today we are going to walk through how to create another PWA or Project Online instance. You can have many Project Online instances and each one is managed, configured, security is separate from one another. A lot of times if you have different business units that need to have a strict security boundary or you would like to have a dev environment that you can make updated, you can try things and before rolling them out to your core user base. Uh, another SharePoint, I mean, another project online environment is a great idea so that you can work on that in parallel before affecting your end users. I am in my SharePoint Admin Center and I can click under my sites and look at all of the active sites. So you'll see I have a mix here of team sites, project web app sites, some team, some more team sites, a couple of different sites going on here. But what I want to be able to do is to create a brand new PWA site. So I'm going to click on create. When you click on site, the two main sites you have here, the two options are a team site or a communication site. But what we want, and if you see down at the bottom, you read your tooltip here, it says create a new team site without a group, a couple of different options, or a project web app site. So I'm going to go ahead and click on project web app. Do you need to choose project web app site here? And here is where you're going to create your site name. It is very important to make sure that you set up your site name correctly the first time because it is difficult to change it um, from here. So I'm going to go ahead and write project online dev. Again, that's pri it's primarily the reason that you'll create another instance is to have um, an environment for testing. A lot of other ones that I see are a, another one actually for testing, uh, for training specifically. You can again have several different um, different environments here. So once you type in your site name here, it will prompt you with what the URL will be. I do recommend not putting spaces into your site address here, using underscores or just keeping everything um, smushed together into one. You can indicate who the primary administrator is going to be. I'm going to make myself the primary administrator of this site. And then I can go ahead and click finish. And it is going to create that site for me. Let's see if it'll happen quick enough for me to be able to share that with you. So it might take a little bit of time to create that site, but once it does, um, then you'll have a the site name here, just as you named it when you first when you created it, and your template will say Project Web App Site over here. To be able to access that, you can click on to. Um, the URL straight from your SharePoint admin, um, admin center to take you to the newly created site. So that is a walkthrough for how to create another project online instance. If you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to us at in info at Have a great day.